Hello guys, I come on sorry too. In this program, I'm going to be discussing a few things that are important to the development of Nigeria, including myself. Let's start. Welcome to my channel. This is Thoughts Chick. I'm back with another. So we could say Thoughts Chick or Thoughts Chick. To be very honest, it's actually Thoughts Chick, right? Thoughts Chick. But you know, ah, let not look like I see if you know you're confusing people's mind. I just say Thoughts Chick. You know, I'm a chick and I'm thinking. I don't know if you understand. Anyway, welcome to my channel. Today, you're going to be learning and knowing about me i'm going to show you a few things about myself because i can't talk about everything in how many minutes people will not watch it can you you are watching it now you say you can watch it for 30 minutes one hour i'll give it to you but now we have a limited time slot so i just have to rush to give you something good um but yeah get to know me so i posted two videos already if you haven't checked them out please check it out somebody's working with on inside my video but it's all good we keep flowing i posted two videos already and i don't know if you haven't watched it please check it out but i'm sure some people are wondering what this channel is all about or even my instagram page like oh, what are you all about what are you talking about blah, blah, blah. so i usually view things from an inquisitory comedic relatable perspective and yeah i decided to let you put in on the thoughts and we share the thoughts together so i express my thoughts but i'm welcoming yours because i just realized that you know we need platforms like that to exchange ideas just share thoughts and really talk about uh, a couple of things ranging a couple of topics and subject matters anyway so yeah today get to know me welcome to my youtube channel i'll be talking about myself answering a couple of questions that i have here about myself and hopefully it would be fun let's do this y'all okay so question one i'll start on a sweet note okay question one what is your favorite ice cream flavor my favorite ice cream flavor is chocolate ah i love it anything chocolate first of all let me answer broadly i don't have a sweet tooth as, as such i think the only thing i really have a sweet tooth for is chocolate so anything chocolate i love chocolate chocolates i'm chocolate cola it's chocolate so chocolate my favorite ice cream flavor i'm not dealing with food i basically like cut up food um carbs and um yeah things are just okay question two where did you grow up ah, I grew up in Lagos. Yeah, yeah, I grew up in Lagos, born, bred, brought up in Lagos State. And yeah, don't say before people will say, ah, oh, you have not really experienced what hello. I'm half Lagosian, I'm half Edusian. So yes, I grew up in Lagos. Um, I'm from Lagos State. My father is from Lagos State. My mom is from Edo State. So I have that south south southwest balance okay and yeah growing up in lagos has been has been great um i'm not even going to talk about the city because the city represents itself but i think the most important thing about growing up in lagos to me or for me is the fact that i got to mingle with everybody and in lagos i mean we don't see tribal religion i can take that to the bank so even my secondary school for instance the people from everywhere and it was just it's such a cosmopolitan and metropolitan city that it feels like yeah we've been doing this for years so keep doing it yeah i grew up in lagos question three how would you rate your childhood on a scale of one to ten ha i rate it ten oh if not eleven ah that growing up that time is sweet it is so sweet i, I rate my childhood ten i can't even front ten if there's eleven i'll give it an eleven next question what is an interesting fact about you first of all let me even pause you know reading <laughs> these questions and having to look into the camera is a bit taxing so please permit me on this video an interesting fact about me um i have two interesting facts about me one i'm really great with music and sounds oh my god i'm even if i have to rate myself it's such a gift I'm great with sounds. If I hear a sound, I can't forget it. I'm great with music. I just kind of know a lot of things about music and it's very inborn. Um, so yeah, I think that, I like to say that I think I would do really well on um, a game of song association. You know song association where they say, they throw a word at you and you answer or you, you sing the song rather. Uh -huh, I think I'll do well in song association. Not the one that they put me on hot seat now and I'll be sweating, but really like, when I hear a word, I associate it to a song, and I'm really great with that. Um, another interesting fact about me, let me just drop it this for to answer this question very well. An interesting fact about me is that I used to be a child star. Ah, people that know me know this one very well. But yes, an interesting fact about me. So, small story time. Once upon a time, hmm, when I'm around that six, seven years, 
I'm featuring inside commercial. I'm featuring on Billboard that time. Ah, if you don't know me, you don't know somebody. But yes, yeah, so I start as a commercial child. Is that I won't say poster child? Yeah, I featured in commercial for a beverage, Bon Vita. Right, so the once upon a time I was called Bon Vita Girl. Yeah, this girl you're looking at. Like, I told you I like chocolate. You know, those people that are not paying attention, I love chocolate so much. So um, I was about seven years old, and the Bon Vita. Hello, if you are later Gen Z, Gen Z listen to this. Bon Vita used to be brown in color, the packaging and everything. It was cream and brown, and they wanted to rebrand to purple. So the the I think they went around schools and my school was one of them and they were looking for children or you know people to participate so it's going to be a real big rebranding you know you can imagine this was the year 2000 2001 but i mean cadbury does it big so they were already doing big things at the time they were doing big things for a very long time what am i talking about anyway so um something happened there's a little twist of fate that happened anyway it's, it didn't just end in my head that's how they pick me and it was great it was i have fun fact i can't find the video at the moment so if i find the time i'm editing this video i will include it so it was a commercial and i was on tv oh my god my grandparents loved it like in school even my class teacher i was on magazines you know how you feature you're like ah bobby tiger bobby tiger every year i was good i don't know can't believe you're watching this now can't believe i'm supposed to be an ambassador i'm one of the first people that start this journey with you i don't even know what happened but yeah it used to be that and i think somehow i just let it go maybe i shied away from the camera a little bit but I know that I've, I've been born to do camera, I've been born to do big things and great things. So yeah, that's the answer to this question. I so said that is long, but next question, please. What is your funniest memory from high school? Hmm. So first of all, I attended Queen's College, Yaba, Lagos. I had, so I had many fun memories from Queen's College. I can't even front. It was great because I was a day student. I started off as a day student and I think in, in GSS3, I became a boarder. So I had a blend of home and boarding school. But when I was a day student in GSS1 and GSS2, you know, I've always been into music. Um, I've been into music, I've been into creativity for a very long time, longer than I even realized it. And I think it was a GSS1 or GSS2. Let me not embarrass you that were part of me. Um, well, with me rather. So we used to practice, you know, all these dances and all of that. No, they didn't tell us, to, they don't only send us to school to do, they could not tell us to practice anything, but we're practicing. Anyway, we went to practice behind, I think close to the staff quarters. We went to practice one song. I think it was Hey Mama at the time, Black Eyed Peas. Hey Mama, hey, yes. Ah, I'm going to sit down step. We're dancing Hey Mama that time. And um, when we were practicing, we somebody came, one little boy. We could not remember that maybe he was this short. In retrospect, it's probably like 11 years old, but it looked like a five year old. You know, those very, eh, those strong children like that, when they see you. He just saw us <laughs> practicing Hey Mama. He just said, Yes, what are you doing there? Leave that place. Ah, we looked at him. Ah, we were in GS1 or GS2. We like, what is this? Ah, we continued dancing. He said, I said, leave that place. We didn't answer him. And I can't, what is wrong with you? Can't you can't stay while practicing. I said, this boy just plucked one big pancake like this from, <laughs> from the bushes. He started chasing us. If you see the way we ran, ah, I, because we used to wear pinafore. I pulled up my pinafore. I ran from. From if you've been to my school before, anyone who's watching this video and understands the setting of a federal government school, you know, you run this the fields are usually very large. We I ran from the back like this to the front. I think I my class. Why are you running? Why are you running? That's that definitely stands out as one of my um funniest memories from high school, from secondary school. Next question: what was or is your favorite subject in high school? What was my favorite subject in high school, secondary school? Um, so yeah, social studies in junior secondary school and geography in senior secondary school, especially SS1, oh my god. What was your dream job as a kid? Fun fact, I didn't have a dream job as a kid. Yeah, I know, I was one of those people. So I just knew that what I wanted to do had not been created. I tell you this one. To be honest, I didn't. So I was, I had to be long. You know, deep down inside me, I never said, oh, mommy, I wanted to be this. I never told my mom that. But I know I tilted toward medicine. And I just said, oh, I want to be a doctor. That's how a doctor is really, you know. So um, I grew up in the 90s, by the way. I was born in the 90s, grew up in the 90s, June 2000. So that you can put this in perspective. So I know that, and the Bombita commercial that I mentioned earlier, 
I was a doctor, you know, I was sitting with my mom, my TV mom, and she's thinking about me, the nutritional value, value of bone beta, and me becoming a doctor, doing great things, right? It wasn't just doctor, doing great things. And that was one of the, like a scientist, you know, because of the nourishment that the, the beverage gives. And so that was that, but I knew in my heart of hearts that I couldn't find what I wanted to be on the table. And I'm just, if I can say that, I'm just very thankful for social media and technology. And I say this because I think it opened the world, especially Nigeria and Africa, to many more things that we can be and we should be. Because we already, it's, it's not like as if someone has started teaching, we already know how to do these things. People have been drawing, painting, sculpting for the longest time. So in fact, like we have the best of anything arts and crafts here or anything. And Africa has the best of everything, period. But um, yeah, so I just knew that it was on the table in secondary school. I'm like, okay, let me go, let me do engineering because I just thought engineering is a bit diverse, right? There are different things that you can become as an engineer. I wanted something that was kind of complex, but different. I don't know. Anyway, I didn't do it all. I ended up studying up an original plan. Yeah, but thinking about it now, without trying to extend this question, thinking about it now, up an original plan is kind of related to all these social studies, geography. You can see that. God then, he aligns things for us so we don't know. We just think we know, we don't know. At the end of the day, if we allow God to choose for us, he will choose right and he will choose the best for us. So yeah, that's what I have to say. Next question, what was your first job? Hmm, being a content developer. Eh? Am I speaking the right English? My first proper job was content development. Yeah, being a content developer at Tech City NG. Tech City NG is a tech media company. But yeah, Tech City NG. Great people, good company. What is your favorite holiday? What is my favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Christmas. Ah, I love it. God, I love Christmas. Christmas is just such a beautiful period. It's a beautiful time for the world. And I, I can't think of any other holiday that tops that. My favorite Christmas hymn, I know they didn't ask me, is um, Oh Holy Night. Oh my God, I love it. Oh Holy Night, fall on your knees. Every time I hear that song, I have goosebumps. It's just so... It's such a beautiful melody. Christmas is my favorite holiday. By a far mile, yeah. What is your go-to hairstyle? Ah, my go-to hairstyle is Bono. I just put everything inside Bono. I don't really have time too much. So confessional, I don't. I'm not great with styling hair. Like I see it. You know how people know how to dance, but they can't bring it out. That is not me. Yo. That is not me. That's you. But for hairstyles, I just. And it's time consuming, like you're trying to do things, you know, bring it up. I don't have stylists now. If I have maybe if I have personal stylists, the person can do it for me. But um, yeah, I, I, I usually wear my hair in a bun for the most part. I have a friend that calls it Chinese hairstyle. But just pack it, do something, and sweep it off my face. And it's good. When you sweep air off your face, you can see it. When you sweep air off your face, if you're cooking, it's not entire your food. So it's very good. When you want to go to the gym, you just put it in a very handy hairstyle. You can use it for any gym. It's a multi purpose style. I love it so much. Next question. Next question. How many siblings do you have? I have two siblings. Um, yeah, my siblings are fantastic, wonderful people. Sometimes when I look at them, I'm like God knew what he was doing. When it's like, well, wait, don't you, you don't have to come early. If I come early, I'm not maybe I'm not able to see them. But I have two older siblings that are extra nice, supportive, and are just the best. They are leading me well. They are leading me in the right. I'm following. It's a very good thing. They have they have deposited in me a lot of wisdom. Um, yeah, especially my second mommy, my older sister. She's great. My brother is just a great older brother anyone can ever have. So I'm grateful for them. Two siblings to answer the question. Next question, please. Next question. What is your favorite book? I haven't read so many books in adulthood. I can't even front about it. But um, some books stand out to me. The Richest Man in Babylon. Ah, that's a good book. Oh. If you have not read that book, you read it. Some financial literacy, everything. Because hmm, wisdom is profitable. Profit is that wisdom. Ah, can't even front that. I've, I've, in fact, I've, I've asked God for wisdom. You should leave me because you can't know it all. And even when you know it, you're not wise. You can't apply it. So, The Richest Man in Babylon is it's a great book. Next question What inspires you? What inspires me is the fact that this life, if you don't uh, inspire yourself, nobody will inspire you. But yeah, um, what inspires me really is the fact that you just, no one has it figured out. And um, 
yeah, your path is different. I've come to realize my path is different. Um, it's uh, maybe unique. So almost yeah, other part than me, I know it. So you're not a person like I'll be asking me. I will tell you by my own self. Um, my path is unique, and I have to just trust in God. Yeah, even the day that I cry, I have to trust in God. For instance, now this video, I recorded it. Too. I just said I did say the video. The video record one half of it has gone. I have to continue. Why? You inspire me. If you don't inspire me, I can't do this video for you. I have to do it for you so that I can get to know me. You also inspire me. Thank you. Next question. What sports do or did you play? <sighs> ah, that time in school, we were, we were running. You know, I was a sprinter in primary school. Yeah, primary school. But yeah, I, I, I mean, primary school, I had a sprint. You know, see my leg. Sister boat. I had a sprint that time. Ah, my leg. It's my short leg. I used to stretch it and run. I'm a good sprinter that time. Until life happens, secondary school, you don't have time for that. You have to focus on academics. University, ah, you do sports like this. I pity you. But yeah, I think that's the next question. Do you like dogs or cats? I like dogs. Ah, I'm a dog lover. I love dogs. But I love sensible dogs. Please, let's put that part. Because sometimes people think I'm because you're a dog lover. You just, ah, ah, excuse me, sir, you don't train your dog with. Sometimes some stray dogs, ah, ah, will just be all over the place like this. People will say, ah, come and play with this. Eh? Me, I grew up with dogs. I grew up with dogs. We had dogs growing up and loads and loads of dogs. My father. But um at the same time, I watch your dog. If I come to your house, I say this dog, this is a dog that they keep inside cage. It will be back in for money tonight. If you see anybody, that's a nest to me. All those dogs that they have a, a, some thing that is not really okay with them upstairs. Then I say, no now, it won't bite you. It will bite me. <laughs> this dog I'm going to bite me. I don't just play with anybody's dog. Sensible dog that is sensible is well trained and mature. Those are the dogs I play with. But I'm a dog lover. Next question. How many languages do you speak? I speak a couple of languages. I speak English. I speak Nigerian English. I speak English English. I speak Pidgin English. I speak Edo English. I speak Yoruba English. I speak a whole lot of English. English, you have different variants in varying degree. You have one English. Those are the languages I speak. But Really, I think English language is the only language I speak very fluently. With Yoruba, please don't come for me. Suppose they come, ah, just, eh, hello. I will still run for local government election. It's not by that. I will run for it. Yoruba teacher will teach me at home. But no, um, it's really that some of us come from into tribal homes. Some of you are too hard. You just think that somebody is actually one name. That's the everything. Uh -uh. Well, let me know. Um, and it's a tribal home. You don't have one major language spoken. My mom is Edo. My father is Yoruba. So Yoruba man, and growing up in Lagos, definitely I have an ah, there's no way <laughs> you can't send me. I understand Yoruba very well. I speak the fluency is off, and sometimes I try to hide it because the question they will ask you, and I say, ah, are you not? <laughs> you won't spoil my political career. I'm still going to run, and you will take it. Let me tell you something. Most people that even run for office, they are the tribalized one, and two, they have a mixture of different culture because it's when you have been around, it's when you have different origin that you can appreciate. A part of you so that's what i just have to tell you right now so i do i'm hearing it you know bit by bit i can speak their pigeon and everything that's what i i do pigeon is a language yeah next question please who is your favorite actor i don't have a favorite actor i don't i just love seeing talented people on my screens i must say this i'm big on discovery fun fact about me i'm big on discovering people music number of people that i've discovered i say this person is good this person has made it while life i can't even front about it but I'm really, like once I say a talented person, ah, this person will go far. I love it. I love seeing new people on my screen, not, you know. But anyway, um, if I had to pick one, I would pick Leonardo DiCaprio. Ah, from the first day I saw him inside that ship on Titanic, I know that this boy is born to rise. He is very versatile. You know, people talk about range like his beans. Range not be beans. So if, you're, if you have one, you can only play one part, it's fine. It's a gift. It's not easy to switch, but Leonardo has such... An impressive range. I don't think to talk about it enough. He can play anything. He can play somebody in Africa that is speaking pigeon. Tomorrow he can play a clean, but next thing is one very mad wolf of Wall Street. I mean, Leonardo is, is good to it any day, anytime. Leonardo DiCaprio. I, I, I appreciate his talent. God bless him. Next question What are your favorite values in friends? Ah, people that don't give me trouble, though. I love them so much. It's not easy because trouble is, is abundant within us. People that don't like violence. Yeah. Um, I think if I had to answer, answer this question a few years ago, I would be like, oh, I need a, a friend that is this, but hello, Michael Jackson said, you look into the person in the mirror and tell me what you see. If I'm not maybe a certain friend to some other people, why am I so confident to say this is what I want in friends? But anyway, 
um, friends that are just trustworthy, good, no violence, no trouble. Not that they are docile or they are quiet or they are reserved or they have to have my personality type, but they don't just like trouble. You know, no time for while. The friendship is it's as easy as it goes. It's not compulsory. Do you understand? Just do your part. I do my part. We leave the rest to God. And then I think I just have a lot of acquaintances too. So I, I'm okay with having people that are not necessarily like my friends that you oh, are responsible for this. Ah, if you don't do this, then you're not my friend. I just have acquaintances, loads of supportive people. You are my friend too now. You're my friend. For you to subscribe to, ah, I made my friend subscribe to my YouTube channel. For you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you're my friend because you support me. What is friendship? Support. What's this friendship? Love. You're my friend. God bless you. Thanks, friend. Next question. What is one thing you wished people knew about you? What's one thing I wish people knew about me? Um, very nice. I'm genuine. Yeah, that's it. I'm a genuine person. I'm quiet, yeah. Next question. Are you single or taken? Well, it depends on, you know, who's asking. But, um, you should not put me inside trouble. But I'm single. I am. Yeah, I'm not married, Abby. Yeah, so I'm single. And so you see me on Insta blog or Bella Naja wedding. So you say, ah, so so and so I've gotten married. Okay, question. And I think there's the last question that I want to take. The last question is, what time do you go to bed? I think 10. Um, I don't put it at 10. These days I try not to go to bed too late. Sometimes it's later. But 10, because I'll be saying, ah, oh, what have I achieved today? I need to be able to push myself. Oh. They let me sleep so that my head can be clear. My head is not clear. I cannot produce anything good. That's the way life flows. That's the way it goes. But yeah, I think 10. That's the average time that I go to bed. And on that note, we close this. Get to know me. Let's go to bed, everybody. Good night. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for subscribing to this channel. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Share. Talk about it. Please comment and ask me more questions. You can ask me more comments and um, questions in the comment section. We can't take because of time of time you can't take all the question and even this one is going to be long but yeah please ask me good questions don't ask me questions don't ask me people in public because i won't tell you but ask me good questions any other thing that you would like to know about me um yeah i think that's about it see you in the next video